It was hard, really hard, to try to get the film done in New Brunswick. There are no other feature filmmakers in the province that I know of that, that go through this. There are um, feature filmmakers that you know, will will make a feature over like a week or whatever for you know hundred dollars or things like that. And uh, but we didn't want to go that route. We wanted to have a budget, but there was no mentor. There was no somebody to mentor us there. We had to go outside of the of the province and that's very costly to leave. I mean, it's a 14 hour drive from my house to Toronto. <laughs> and we've done it because sometimes you can't afford to fly. I'm Gia Milani, and I'm a writer and director and producer. And I have a film here at TIFF called All the Wrong Reasons. It's day five of TIFF for me. And so it's starting to wear a little bit. I think I got two and a half hours of sleep last night. <laughs> but I don't care because this is my first TIFF and, you know, it ends tomorrow, so I'll sleep next week. We are delighted to be bringing you tonight's film from the talented writer-director Gia Milani. Um, it's one of the most remarkable... I think it's important to have such a huge film festival in, in Canada because it exposes um, our filmmaking to the world because everybody comes in from around the world and then lets people know that we exist and I think it's good for the rest of Canada too because sometimes we don't celebrate ourselves and I think we should. It was really fun to talk about um, similar experiences with other directors because then you find out that the process that you went through isn't so insane as you thought it was because it's really hard to, to put a film together finding funding, finding locations, having actors drop out, which is what happened to me. Uh, that seems to be common, and it felt like it wasn't at the time. <laughs> um, so we had an actor drop out on a Thursday, and my producer said, we're gonna have to shut down. And this is, we've, we've you know, we're already at the location and everything when, when this all went down. And I had seen an interview with Corey and thought that he would be really great for this and thought, well, I'll take a chance. And um, his agent brought it to him and he read it in between interviews at Comic-Con. This is a Saturday night. And then finished it on his way back to LA and he called me the next day and said, I'm in. He loved it, he couldn't believe it fell in his lap. But he did save the film because we were hours away from having to pull the plug. And um, he committed to it that fast and he started shooting two days after that. In an industry where artists were always told can't do something, or there's all these obstacles put in our way. Where do you find your inspiration and determination to keep going? The word no really pisses me off. Um, and it will spur me on to do more and try harder. So um, I think actually having been being told no a lot um, actually helped me get it done. I think it's important for women to be in filmmaking because we're 52% of the population and we have a lot to say. I think it's really weird that more women aren't in film. Um, I haven't encountered ever a ceiling. Like there's, I've never had, oh, well, I'm not gonna pick you because you're a girl. I haven't had that. I just found out that um, I'm winning this uh, award, the Girls Discovery Award, and I'm really excited and honored that, that they chose me. Now this Girls Filmworks Discovery Award looks at the Discovery Filmmakers' backstories, who they are as people, including how the filmmaker has expressed his or her passion for filmmaking throughout their life to date, and what innovative and interesting choices they've made to ultimately get their film made. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating Gina Milani and her film All the Honors. Thank you. Thank you so much. I haven't stepped back yet to, to um, process any of this. <laughs> I get just because, I mean, with Corey dying in the summer, and that was uh, not even two months ago, that was, um, that was so overwhelming. And I found out that we were in TIFF right around the same time. And, um, I found it really hard to enjoy that we were coming here until a few days before and some of his fans were like, I hope that you're going to enjoy this and I go enjoy it and 
and so I'm trying to you know, get the bitter sweetness out of it and do it, but I haven't, it's been so much here. Next week when I'm home and there's none of this going on, then I'll be like, holy shit. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Can you just hold it up just a little bit further? It's like so heavy. I know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna have big muscles after this. <laughs>